Okay, so part two, as I promised, with the cheat day results. Okay, so this is the day after. Um, now, I never trained on uh, my dad's birthday, and I haven't trained today either. That's two days in a row. Devastating. So I have to take those calories into account. I normally burn 200 calories each time I train. I train for a long time. That's 2,400 calories I haven't burnt in two days. <laughs> wow. So it's effectively two cheat days. So what I'm going to do with this video is um, break it down to three sections. So I'm going to show you my Sculpt results. Now Sculpt is this very cool device I use for myself and for clients. I uh, have used it for a very long time. It's an electronic, basic electronic caliper measurement. We do a measurement on triceps, we do it on abs, and we do it down on the thigh. We can do it in 24 different places on the body, but that's called a quick scan. We do that regularly, and that basically gives an overall result. But the one I'll concentrate on is, not surprisingly, for abs, uh, just to see how the stomach reacts to the day after the cheat day and the day after that. So we use a scalp measurement, I'll show you those. Um, also, I took a pic, a morning pic, just after the shower, a bit thoughty. Hope you like that. No, it's, it's okay. It's uh, completely, uh, completely censored. It's legit. So I'll show you that one as well. Uh, you can see what the shape the, 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 the stomach's in. And thirdly, I've done manual measurements along with electronic um, of neck, waist, hips to get overall body fat measures and you can see how that compares with previous measurements I've done to see what kind of effect that has. All right, so let's get to it. The results are coming up. So this sculpt measurement I take pretty much every day. You can see here 26, 25th, 24th, 23rd, etc. I've been doing this for about a year at least, so the data on it's pretty damn good. Uh, it's been very, very useful. So, the change from last night till today, it says today there, that was actually yesterday. Don't know why it does that. So today was actually 8.2. Previous day was 8.5, 8.4, 8.1. So if I kind of average that out, um, it's probably about the same as the average per week if I went and had a close look at that. So the main thing is it didn't jump right up, which you wouldn't expect to happen in a day. So these measurements I all do in the morning. So it's a 24 hour period since uh, each one of these obviously. So it went from 8.5 to 8.2. So it actually showed it going down. And that's the day after. So let's see what happens tomorrow and the following day. Anything's possible. Stay tuned. Okay, so having a closer look at my data, and I track absolutely everything, um, we can see this is my dash overviewing pretty much my calories against my macros. So, <laughs> last night I had 4,809.26 calories. As you can see, my adherence to calorie intake is pretty damn good. So that was actually, um, I normally have 2,000, I had 4,800, so 2,800 calories more than normal. Uh, unfortunately too, only 14% of that of what I ate was actually protein, so it would have been nice to lift protein up considering how many calories I ate. The actual number of grams I needed to hit was about right. Um, so it was about 160 grams of um, protein. That's what I needed to get. That's what I got last night. But it would have been nice to get a bit more, to be honest, with the number of calories I ate. And I ate a full, large, um, excuse me, I'm trying to think. This cold is difficult. Flu, sorry. Uh, a full size meat lover's pizza hut pizza. Meat lover's. And I still got bugger all meat in it, so it just shows you how little protein there is actually in a pizza. It's mainly carbs, carbs and fats. So that was 
the spike, which was last night. You can see how huge that is compared to my normal intake. Um, and I'll take you more now into what that actually meant in real terms. Um, to show my body weight, how that changed since last night. So, the previous day I was 67.5 when I weighed, that was, these are morning intakes, 67.5, and I'd been uh, going down on a short um, decline. Boom, up. So you expect I ate two, 2,800 calories more than the day before. So I'm uh, 0.8 kilos heavier than I was the previous morning. So that's to be expected. But interestingly, um, I also measured my uh, critical, three points of critical, uh, which are neck. Neck was the same size. Waist. Waist went up by 0.2 millimeters, um, probably. You'd expect that. Hips were exactly the same. Um, so my body fat, how was that affected by it? My body fat levels actually went rose slightly from 15.3 to 15.8. So those metrics are really interesting in that not a lot changed. Um, so we can refer to pictures as well and my scalp measurements and that'll give you more of a view of how everything went.